guys welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky and welcome to moments with vicky please if you're seeing my face for the very first time hello there please 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 i'm begging you right now just hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and please guys follow me on my personal channel at vicky m the link is in the description there i post video on motherhood lifestyle vlogs and everything in between it's not every time i was i used to do tata for it's not every time i used to do am but sometimes i can be serious in my life so go there and you will see another part of me okay all right guys so my body is just shocking me you know because this house me they've been for some reason giving me some kind of joy and making me enjoy watching them even though the drama is getting intense and all that it started this morning with Ozo and Nengi just being all lovey dovey, you know, mushy, you know, talking in that their low tone, you know, and you know, just talking, you know, you just remember, it just reminds you of that time when you guys were in secondary school, when we were in secondary school, or, or you know, that early teenage age, you know, that's how Ozo and Nengi actually act to so me. They act like those people that are in those secondary school and they're just razzling each other. Ozo is razzling Nengi the way. And, Secondary school boys actually razzle their girlfriends and then they also react like all those secondary school na naive girls and They're just speaking everything just look lovely. I don't know what even though they are just trying to I don't know what's up with them I can't say for sure what their plan is or what their motive is but at this point the way they are just doing with each other is sure just fitting me but they should sort themselves out so it was time for diary section let me just go straight to, i don't want to start telling you what everybody said in their diary section because it's more or less like what biggie normally asks biggie actually it was lacon's turn for diary section lacon actually went to pour out his heart to biggie telling biggie that what is happening to him has never happened before that he is feeling somehow that uh, he likes he's interested in one girl but somebody else is already has already taken the girl that is making him feel somehow if he was not in an, in an an enclosed space like this he would have run away you guess but right now he's in an enclosed space with the girl and then the the, the thing is that whatever they do is in his face it just looks as if they are rubbing into his face and i'm just like oh my god lacon i'm so sorry and then biggie was like okay lacon biggie was giving lacon advice like this this particular biggie is so benevolent like he gives advice freely he doesn't just act like you can talk to him and he will give you an honest advice so biggie now told lacon that in this life if you are not if one person doesn't see you as a choice you are someone else's choice and that was just the right thing that lacon actually needed because i think this erica lacon and the kid wire stuff is actually really spoiling lacon's game because lacon now is not concentrating anymore all you see lacon talking and gathering wherever you see lacon season he's talking about erica whoever you see lacon standing with He's talking about Erica, like he's seen his eating him up, and I can understand because the fact that they are in one enclosed space where everything where he turns to, he sees Erica. And the worst part is that the way Erica even is now, which I'll even get to it much later in this video, is even more frustrating for Lekon. Lekon cannot, I don't think Lekon can handle it, but I just hope and pray he gets over it because at this point, I'm very, very sure Erica cannot settle for Lekon. Lekon has to deal with it and move on so actually this night after they won they actually the housemates actually won their wager you get they actually won their wager and they were so excited and then the key to the freezer outside the garden is with Ozo. so Ozo was like let them all gather like, gather in the lounge for him to announce it maybe they didn't know what he wanted to say and then dorothy was like what's up now everybody's gathered what are you waiting for and then nengi was like he's waiting for me Dora lost it and was like she like she she wasn't saying it to Nengi's face anyway she was just complaining to uh, to to Lucy that she should avoid her they don't talk so she shouldn't be putting her mouth in her talk or her mouth in her business you get she was really really vexed which I see Nengi someone that I think I think you'll be quarreling with her trust me you're quarreling with yourself because sometimes she just acts as if she's not she's not feeling it or she does not care or she knows saying and then you're busy flogging yourself but she, she's still living her life freely and doing what she's doing it's in just the pepper you go they eat you but nengi is just there enjoying herself. so she was really vexed and angry she even took it to their hoh -H house she was speaking with ozo about it and ozo was even busy hugging and begging her that please she should not be hungry and all that and he's all looking as if uh, this girl are you trying to manipulate ozo to actually because i always see one rant or the other about you complaining nengi to ozo but i i hardly maybe it's me you guys should leave it 
in the comment section i've actually not really seen nengi sitting us all down complaining dorothy because of how their friendship is or complaining or talking about dorothy you understand but the way i see every of dorothy's discussion with also they must find a way one way or the other actually to put nengi in the middle maybe it's just the part i watch because i don't sit down to watch it all day you guys should leave it in the comment section nobody should bash me if you bash me people come for me me hey <laughs> you guys don't know what's up hmm? okay moving on now let me just tell you guys why i picked up my phone to actually make these videos guys i made up my, as in i woke up so early this morning so i'm gonna make video and tell you guys that erica and kid wire they've broken up but guess what erica and kid while i said they broke up last night and made the whole uh twitter and uh, whatever to be being like this ship you guys should ship you guys ship it just looks as if they were even reading the twitter messages only for us to wake up this morning only for since today erica has not been able to let go of kid while neither has kid while been able to let go of erica uh, you they have just been eating each other's mouth in fact in the presence of everybody they have just been acting free blue film for us to watch at this point say as it is like this eh, kid wire and eh, now has a food delivery services in the house if kid wire sees you talking to his girlfriend kid wire is coming with food i don't know if anybody has observed it or it's just me that's just what he does if you're just sitting down and talking to erica hold up before you know it kid wire is coming with either spaghetti or it's coming with either cocoa pops or it's coming with either wanting to feed her in your present and kiss her and like marking his territory like this is my girl you can talk to her but she's coming back to me she's mine and then this evening in fact the one that just off me this evening they have been eating each other's mouth <laughs> Kilo day, what is happening? As in, I thought you guys said you've broken up. Is it that the break of now is now trying to see keep? Don't know if I got that. I don't know if you guys understand what. <laughs> it's now making the whole thing sicky. Like, in fact, Dora was lying on. I don't know what they call that swing kind of bed they have at the garden. There, Dora was just lying there, and the way Kid Wire were, and Erica they were in the presence of everybody eating their mouth. <laughs> Dora had to be, hey, what's going on there? Dora had to leave that place, came to sit down on the bed, watching them like they are acting free blue theme for the housemates. As I'm talking to you guys, it is still happening. Like me, I'm just waiting because tonight I want to sit down and watch. Right now, they are drinking because Ozo has actually opened the freezer for them. They are drinking. We want to see the end of this if it will be worse than the other day's own. So, guys, these housemates. They are giving us the content also said he was going on a date with nengi i don't even understand whether when they were going for the date big brother was doing a diary section and we could not hear what they were saying i be the date is this evening because they have been sitting down they've not been saying anything reasonable they've just been like i said secondary school people that's what they are just enjoying themselves you know i don't know if i should call that they are flirting with themselves or just you know enjoying maybe they did not do it when they were in secondary school mm, i think so I don't, I don't, I, well, I don't know because see, see, I'm even looking at her right now as I'm talking to you. The way they are just acting, there, just this secondary school feeling that's where my head is just going to because as a mature person, I don't know. We'll be in love and we are just, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if I even can act that anymore because I've not been love struck like that. I don't know if this is love struck or they are just being what I don't understand at this point, at this very point. Well, I'm still enjoying Erica and Kidwire doing their thing. I'll come back to you guys. If there is any main gist that actually happened this night, just leave keep your notification button on because I'll be coming back to give you guys the gist. I hope you enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video.